Hey yo guys, Shepard Speed back here with another video. Uh, we're currently in the Dragon Gym Cup. I was going to take a break from my last video because I got two miss got two L's and they were actually all of my fault. So I was gonna take a break, but then I found this magical button that says dual win rewards. I was looking for this button in the last video, I think. I don't know. And because I wanted to see what the rewards were for this uh, cup. And I thought that Dragonite was just going to be pushed in, like, the boosters, but he's actually a win reward. So, when I looked at his, uh, his figure here, so, okay, so clearly, let's just get one thing straight. So, he's clearly, like, the prize for this cup. Like, the, he, you get one when at 35 wins, one at 70 wins. Um, so if this is what you're going for, then you only need 35 wins to get him, and then you need 25 for the Dragonair, and is there a Dratini? There's no Dratini. I actually already have a Dragonair and Dratini, which I thought was trash, but actually they're not that bad, um, because I didn't, I didn't read its Shed Skin ability. So I saw Magnetic Storm, this Pokemon and all neighbor Pokemon become paralyzed, and I was like, that's a trash, that's a trash, like, purple move. I don't understand why that's good. But I didn't even read Shed Skin, so it says this Pokemon will recover from any status effect at the start of your turn, uh, and your turn will end. So it's just a useful thing to get rid of the paralysis. Um, so he's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I honestly don't know if Dragonite's gonna be even usable, like, even, like, good in the meta or whatever. Um, but I really like Dragonite, so I want one. So our, my goal for this cup is to at least get Dragonite. Now, 35 wins is a lot just because I don't play that often. I'm gonna try and push it this week, try to get the Dragonite. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and see how that goes. That being said, we need to go into another match, get these wins, and hopefully get the Dragonite. So this is the road to Dragonite. Alright guys, uh, the team that I used got me two, three wins and then two straight losses. So currently we're three and two. Um, the Sylveons are pretty powerful, but I don't know, I'm just, something about this deck, I'm not feeling it, you know, I'm not, I'm not confident in the deck. There's no, like, I don't know, like, sleeper win, like, Meowth, you know, like, Meowth has that fake out, that's like a sleeper win to me. Like, you, you know, if you're down and out, you can just throw that Meowth up there and hope for the best. Uh, in this team, it's kind of more of like a setup, put the Sylveons on the board, and then, you know, take control. And I'm not that kind of player. I'm a pr pretty fast player. Uh, I like to just, you know, rush it. Not fast as in time. I'm, I think about my moves a lot. But fast as in, you know, the uh, the, the aggression at which I play. So, uh, going into this match, to be honest, I was talking, so I didn't really see... Okay, so he has two Sylveons, Rayquaza, Jigglypuff, Ralt, and Gabite. So, interesting that he has a Rayquaza. I didn't know Rayquaza would be that... Uh, common. So two X attacks, two hurdle jumps, no biggie. Uh, clearly, you know what? I'm not going to start with Latias. I'm going to start with the Salamence. I, I don't know. I'm trying to not... La if Latias dies, I'm in such a big pickle, um, and I don't want to be in that pickle. So right now, obviously, I'm not going to attack the Gabite. That would be, you know, it would literally cost me the game. Uh, so <laughs> he's going to hurdle jump. Oh, okay. All right. You're, you're gonna hurdle jump. Okay, then. Um, the Gabite, I mean, 72. Oh, he got 72. Oh my god, this Gabite's gonna evolve. Oh my god, this Gabite's gonna evolve. Um, I'm clearly not going to let him do that. So I'm gonna set the Latias right here. Um, obviously, I do know he has another hurdle jump. If he goes for the goal... I'm not worried. Oh my gosh. I should have attacked with just Salamence. Man. Am I just going crazy? Am I like not even thinking about moves anymore? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So. What to do? What to do? I'm going to put a Sylveon right here. Maybe, uh, maybe that wasn't a good decision. I'm not even confident anymore right now. I just got my Salamence. And he's going to X-Attack. What are you X-Attacking? A Ralts? You're X-Attacking your Ralts to take out my Sylveon? And he got Imprisoned. What does Imprison do? I honestly have no clue. I honestly have no clue. So, I don't... Did that do anything? And this Ralts is going to evolve too. The, and a, the battle opponent's attack is disabled and they gain an Imprison Marker. What do you mean the attack is... What does that even mean? 
Um, I, to be honest, I don't know what that means. I do know that this Gabite is a problem. That Ralt is a problem. Uh, the Jigglypuff. Yep, this is. His Pokemon are all gonna evolve. This is terrible. Okay, Rayquaza. Rayquaza, bring me something. Bring me some sort of joy. Oh my god. Well, actually, that's not bad, because he would go into the... Nope, okay. I was thinking he was gonna... That's actually... Yeah. Yep, yeah, just... Just misplays all around. Misplays all around. I don't see a situation that I'm too worried about right now. Uh, I'm gonna put the Sylveon here. Once he puts that other Sylveon, my round beats his round. So, I'm not too worried about that. And, so, what do I do, guys? Because... I don't know how evolution works very well. Maybe you guys can explain that to me. But I'm pretty sure they get to, like, a free a free loss. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about hurdle jumping the Ralts to put my Sylveon in a better position. Because I don't know if it can take out these Pokemon. You know what? I'm just going to do it. Hold on. Can he get surround killed? Can he get surround killed? He cannot get surround killed. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm hurdle jumping. I'm hurdle jumping. He can't get surround killed, at least as far as I checked. Well, yeah, he can't. So, let's see what he goes for. I mean, I assume the Rayquaza just put on the board. Maybe he'll attack with one of the Sylveons, but he knows that... Okay, so I do know that he has another hurdle jump, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, that way he would go into the, into the uh, surround from the Latias and the Sylveon. He's going to go onto the goal, which is fine. And my best shot, honestly... Hey, wait a minute, this is imprisoned. Oh, no. If you spin a move which has been sealed by imprisoned, which one was imprisoned? How do I know that? How do I know which one was imprisoned? I don't know. Okay. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? I'm gonna focus band. I'm not gonna just go in that reckless. I don't know which move was imprisoned. I'm hoping that it's not round. <laughs> Let's hope that it's not round. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, was it round? It was round! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? That Ralts is so OP. Holy, holy moly. I can't, I just can't even. So thankfully I got the dodge. That's actually really good. Okay guys, we're, we're, we're gonna have to rethink this plan here. We're gonna have to rethink this plan. Um, this Sylveon needs to not die. I cannot have the Sylveon die. So, because then I actually like completely lose. Because my round doesn't do enough. I think Sylveon is actually my only hope in this in this game right now. Because Latias and Rayquaza are pretty screwed. He's going to X-Attack the Latias. This guy is very playing very interesting. Very interesting game here. So I got the Fly Away, which actually isn't good. Because now I have to put the Sylveon on the goal. So... But you know what? It might not be that bad because now, hopefully, guys, I don't know what to do. I have, I do not know what to do. So, Rayquaza can go in for defense if he needs it. If this Ralts attacks, but and I also have a goal block. I don't know, guys. I'm just gonna attack the Rayquaza. To be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you, you know that's bad when you don't know what you're doing. And the both of the flies cancel each other out, so that's okay. He attacks the Rayquaza. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Wow, I got the miss. That's actually really lucky, and that's actually really helpful, because the Rayquaza was one of his big beaters. So now, I'm going to go in for the, the Sylveon attack, and I'm hoping for... Oh, I shouldn't even do that. I shouldn't do that. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not going to attack. That would have been a misplay. Thank you. Thank you, Pokemon Duel Gods, for letting me know that that would have been a misplay, because clearly that's a bad decision. I should go for the surround kill. And oh my god, the mist ball, the 110 mist ball on the Sylveon. Now I think, okay, should I just attack? No, nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I refuse to make any careless decisions. He's going to hope for the, that he beats my Sylveon. And if he does, I'm just going to go for the Latias attack. So if I roll blue, oh my god, I rolled blue. So... To be honest, in this match, I think I made a lot of misplays, and, you know, obviously that's my fault, but I got also, you know, really lucky. So, you know, with that miss, the 110 miss ball on the Sylveon, that was luck, and that's the luck we're looking for, guys. 
you know, this game is very, you know, hard to judge whether you're going to come out on top or not. And obviously there are smart ways to play and there are dumb ways to play. But as long as you guys are having fun, then you're doing a good job. So I'm definitely having fun right now. At least I got a W. And that brings us to like, I don't know, like six wins or something like that. Okay, not <laughs> four wins. Wow. I thought I was at six. Okay. Yeah, because we got three. We were three and two earlier. So that's four wins. So when I'm doing the boosters, I'm unlocking at two. So I'm hoping that I'm going to play one more match. And I'm hoping that I can... Uh, at least unlock one reward at the end of this video if I win. If not, eh, well, hopefully next one. So, wow, I cannot believe that that game was, I felt just not good. I just didn't feel good about my decisions, and hopefully we get a better game here. He he does have a Latios. That's scary, because I know how powerful Latios is. So... I see a Deoxys, I think is that one attack form? That's not speed, I don't think. I think I see an attack form. And he goes first, yep, the attack, I think, because that's not four movement points. So, who do you start with in this instance? The Latios? I mean, I always start with Latios, so why not, I guess. Maybe the Garchomp? I mean, obviously, it's not going to be Deoxys or Reuniclus, because those only have one movement point. That'd be pretty silly on his part. Um, he's going to go in for the Latios. 120, 70, 60. It kind of outclasses. 170, 20, 60. 70, 60. Um, let's see. Do I go with the Rayquaza? Because he has blue. Actually, no. Gold beats purple. But then Extreme Speed would beat everything. I'm going to go in for the Rayquaza. Um, hopefully, he doesn't attack. I mean, I should, I should check his plates. Uh, let's see. Hurdle jump, gold block. He goes in for the Garchomp. 90-60. So I will go for 90-60. Well, I don't know, guys. I'm going for the Latios here. Well, let's see what he does here. Does he go for the Reuniclus? I'm so annoyed at Reuniclus from this meta. So he's going to Hurdle Jump. I assume onto the goal. Okay. That's what makes you happy, friend, if that's what makes you happy. Uh, who's, well, Latios is the only one that can go on the goal. So we're going to go ahead and put Latios on the goal. And I think our next best bet is to put Sylveons on board. So I'm going to put a Sylveon here to defend. I'm not going to initiate any attacks at the moment, at the current moment in time. Uh, I'm going to put another Sylveon right here. Because Sylveon is pretty strong. Ooh, the Reshiram comes out. He knows. He knows what I'm doing. He knows what I'm doing. And we get the, the neutral turn. So, let's see. Let's look at this Reshiram for a second. If he got... The 100 and the 70 are both neutral turns against me right now. But if he gets the fly, he goes into a surround kill. So... What do you think the best option is? Because if he goes into a surround kill, that's great. But then if it's not, then it's just a neutral turn unless we flip the 170, if that makes sense. So the safest turn, I think, is just to put the Sylveon on here. And then that way, if he does attack and I get the round, then I kill him. Uh, so right now, my Sylveons are all boosted up. I'm going to have to go offensive, I think. And I think the best one to go against is this Deoxys. Now the question is, do I focus band? I can beat him with round, but if he gets the psycho boost on my moonblast, I'm out. And I can't afford to lose one, so you know what? We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. The Deoxys has the most attack on his on the Pokemon, so we're just gonna go for it. We got the round and he got the dimensional slip, so he's gonna hope that we get a dodge. He's gonna make us respin, I would assume. Because I mean, if he gets... He didn't. So, I mean, if I would have gotten dodge, he would have not had to do that. So I'm actually kind of surprised. I'm actually very surprised now he's going in for the attack. He got the Confuse Ray, which I guess is good. I mean, for him. Um, I think I'm going to attack the Reshiram, to be honest. I think that... You know what? Actually, I'm going to put the Sylveon right here. And then I'm going to attack the Reshiram. That way, if it gets the fly, it's just going to jump over me and surround itself. So, let's go ahead and do that. 
Um, obviously I could lose in this match, which... Oh, wow. Of course I did. Of course I did. Now we're in a bit of a pickle here. We're in a bit of a pickle. My best shot is probably to knock out the... The rush room with the Rayquaza. And I got the fly. Is that good? Well, let's see. Let's see if that's good or not. I'm going to say that's good. I'm going to say that's not bad. Because now we're on the right flank and we can go on the entry point if he doesn't put the Deoxys down. Which of course he's going to. Of course he's going to. But I have a great shot of hitting the either the fly or the extreme speed. So you know what? I'm not even going to care. Not even going to care. Oh, I got the fly against the dodge. Wow. So he could force me to respin, but I mean, there's no point. The dodge wins all. So I'm intrigued to see what he does. If I get the fly, then I'm one point away from his goal. And I think he realizes that. So maybe he's going to be really offensive right now. Oh, that was so scary. I had the round and then I got the moon blast. That was so, so, so scary. So... To be honest, maybe the best shot is to go forward with uh, the Sylveon right here, but I kind of don't want to mess around with that half of the board, so I'm just going to fight Deoxys again, and then see what I get. And he got the Dimensional Slip, so I think that's better for him than me straight knocking him out. He's going to make me respin. Interesting. What? Okay, so you made me respin, and you made your Deoxys get knocked out, so that's great. That's actually really great, because now he's going to have to put the Reuniclus back, because he knows that I'm going to go for the attack. Did he have a gold block? He does have a gold block, so he's not too worried about how close I get. So, if I was him, I would be on the offensive this match, which he's not going to, of course. Because, like, he had a gold block, so you might as well just go for the offensive and see if you can win, rather than trying to uh, defend like that. Um, 5120, so my extreme speed would tie with Hyper Beam, but it would beat Brain Link, and my fly wouldn't be bad. So, I'm gonna go for the attack here. It's not bad odds, and we got the neutral turn. So, he can make me respin, and the best thing I could get is fly. I'm thinking, I don't know if that's, I mean, I guess I could get, uh, whatever his white attack is, and I would lose, but he's gonna make me res. Oh, he respins. Alright, so we got the extreme speed, and that is the game. No, that's not the game. Oh, it wasn't my turn. Okay, it was not my turn. So I'm going to go for the attack on the Reuniclus again, because the brain link isn't that good, and I got the extreme speed, which means I knock him out, and that's going to be a game. Let's see, make sure, yep. Because he can't do anything to win at this point in time. I've already succeeded, my friends. I've already succeeded. Forfeit win. Got the W. Got the W. So that means we got two of the boosters. And I will unlock them right now. Right. Oh, got five wins too. Pretty cool. Let's see, we're going to end the episode with me unlocking these boosters and hopefully getting something amazing. Something amazing! Golem, Carvana, so trash. So all of that work and I got trash. So that's how we're going to end the episode, guys.